this is Okundan Raghavan and today we are going to make some of the installation to start our automation framework. It's not about only the installations, we are going to understand why do we need that and its significance. So let's see the list. We are going to install the Node.js which will be acting like a JavaScript runtime environment. When we write our code in JavaScript or TypeScript, it has to be running. So for running that, we need to have the Node.js. Visual Studio Code is the IDE. Rather than writing our simple code might be in the text editor or such as like a notepad or a text pad, we will write into the Visual Studio Code. People generally call it as a VS Code. This VS Code will help us to enable other parts also. For example, we can enable the Git, we can enable other extensions. It's also enable us to install the static code analyzer. That leads to the third point, which is ESLint. ESLint is the static code analyzer which will give the quality code, readable code and maintainable code. And obviously it will be giving the good formatting as well. And Playwright module, obviously we are going to build our framework entirely on the Playwright. Let's install the Playwright itself. By creating the project, we will install the Playwright. Playwright runner extension. Microsoft itself has given the Playwright runner extension so that anybody from any background just to open the VS code, go to the runner and execute. It is just like a UI runner to execute any of your test cases. Git. So from the starting itself, we are going to use the Git. Git is the version control system which will enable us to push your code frequently to our Git repositories. So these are the things we are going to install. Let's start with Node.js. Let's go to the node.js.org. You will be having the latest version. You can install that. It will be the just MSI file. If you go to install, you will be finding the node MSI file. After installing, you will be having the runtime environment. How to confirm? Just go to the CMD and simply type node. You will find the node.js. So it makes sure we can execute our TypeScript and JavaScript files in our local by using the node.js. In case if you are using the browser, obviously browser will have the runtime environment for JavaScript by nature or by default. We don't need any installation. So that's the reason maximum websites will be using the JavaScript. Now coming to the checklist again, Visual Studio Code. So if you go to the Visual Studio Code, you will be going to the code.visualstudio.com. Here you will download the exe file and just install. It will be the straightforward simple steps. And after installing, you will be just looking for the Visual Studio Code. So by the time we will go to the checklist, now we are going to install the Playrate and ESLint and Playrate Runner extension also. This all three, all these three things can be installed inside the VS Code itself. Let's open and first of all, create a project. Let's go to your required folder. Create new folder. Now we have just opened the folder. We need to install the Playwright first. So for that, we will go to the installation part of the documentation. And here you can see we can use the NPM. So NPM is called Node Package Manager. That means that as you go to the NPM website, so here you can see NPM world. So this NPM will have all the packages on the JavaScript and TypeScript. If you try to understand, you can go to the about NPM session. NPM is the world largest software registry. Open source developers from every continent use NPM to share and borrow packages. And we can get these packages either from CLI, like we use the Node.js, or we can directly download from here also. For example, let's go to the website and type for Playwright. And here you can see every details about that and you can download from here itself. And here also they have mentioned NPM install Playwright. But we will try to install from the, the VS Code itself. In order to open the terminal below, you can see uh, icons such as like a warnings and things. If you click any of these, it will open and just switch to the terminal. Now coming back to the documentation. So we can use the NPM because NPM default comes with the Node.js. NPM and NPX. So let's start with NPM. Go to the VS Code, copy paste and install. 
So it will ask you whether you want to continue with the TypeScript, yes. And I want to put all test cases test as of now, yes. GitHub Actions is a CACD tool provided by the Microsoft as of now, I don't need that. Install Playwright browsers, yes, I am going to tell true so that all the browsers also will be installed and it will be starting your project. And it will generate some basic structure also for our framework. You can, you can see package.json, which will be giving the total idea about your project and the configuration for the playwright, playwright.config.ts and node modules. As part of this video, we will try to understand only the high level. Node modules is the place where you will see all your libraries, not only the playwright. Whichever you install using the NPM install, all those packages will be installed in your node modules. Now let's go to the extension. If you go to the extension, we will look for the ESLint. So meanwhile, if you try to understand more on the ESLint, you can use any browser or you can use the chat GPT also to understand. Let's see the chat GPT and ask the same question. Sometimes you may not be clear why do we need that. So let's ask what is ESLint in three sentences. ESLint is a popular open source static code analysis tool for identifying common problems in JavaScript code. And it gives the coding standards as well. Yes, it's a good definition. And here you can see ESLint extension and make sure you are downloading from the Microsoft.com. So the provider or author is Microsoft.com. So don't install anything from the individual users. You may not be having the full confidence on that. So we have already installed that. So that's the reason it is showing the uninstall and go for the play rate runner. And here also you can see play rate test for VS code. It is also from the Microsoft.com. And here you will see all the information. I can install this. This will be like a runner. Here you can see, you will see all the runner classes. So directly you can start running from the text explorer and you can see other options as well. It actually helps us to do the things faster rather than writing all the things in terminal. Now let's go to the list again. So we installed Node.js, VS Code, ESLint, Playrate module and Playrate runner extension as well. Now we are going to install the Git. Git is the version control system. So already we created the project. Whenever we make changes, we frequently or often push our code to the Git repository so that our application code or our automation code is being tracked by the Git in case of any failure or in case of you want to share the code to the other team or other members, it will be very easy. For that, we need to install the Git. Again, it will be very simple. Just go to the Git or you just type the Git download and it will be the Git iPhone SEM and you will be downloading as per your Windows or as per your Mac OS or Linux. So again, it will be the simple exe file. You just click on next, next, next. Then after installing, you just type the git. You will be seeing the git bash and git command. And maximum times you can use the git bash or if you have already installed the git bash, even you don't need to go there. You can directly use the, the extension already comes with the VS code. Here you can just use the git or git bash. And even you can directly use the terminals. So to all things, we need to have the git. So that's the reason we have installed the git. How to confirm that git? Just go to the CMD again and type git. And here you will be seeing all the options that you can use with git. So I think we have covered all the things. We have installed the Node.js. We know what is Node.js runtime environment. We have seen VS Code is a simple IDE. ESLint is a static code analyzer. Playwright module, obviously we need the library of the Playwright. We have seen what is NPM, what is NPM registry, where you will find all the packages NPM registry and Playwright runner extension, which, which makes our task very easy by running the test cases, by seeing all the test cases in the runner format. And the Git we have installed because we need to track our changes as the version control. So these are the things we have installed. And this is all about this video. And always be a rainbow in our cloud.